Now at six to the latest on the coronavirus here in Connecticut. As we head into the holiday weekend, much of our state has reopened. And doctors say this proves the worst of the virus is behind us. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is joining us now live. And Matthew, what's in store for the rest of the year? Yeah, Aaron and Mark, doctors believe we will not see the severity and the impact the virus had on all of us over the last year and a half. Talking with experts, they believe we really turned a corner and point to this chart showing you the state's battle with the virus. I want to show it to you right here. You can see it here with the initial spike in March and April 2020. We had a summertime lull before another little spike in late fall and winter. Doctors say the vaccinations have played a huge role in getting our state reopened. And right now we're the sixth in the nation, so we continue on a very good path. But everyone wants to know about what's next. Are we done with the virus? Dr. Scott Gottlieb, the former FDA commissioner, was on the panel today. And he says, no, we should expect another increase in the fall and winter. But because of the vaccinations, any reemergence really shouldn't carry widespread devastation. You know, we're likely to enjoy um, you know, a very safe summer. I think that the risk is substantially reduced. The vulnerable population has been largely protected, although there's still always work to do there. And while we continue to face risk heading into probably the winter, more likely the winter than the fall, um, we still have vulnerable communities here in the state and elsewhere around the country. And talking about vulnerable communities, I want to leave you here with this graphic. These are the current hotspots right now. A few months ago, a few months ago, actually, nearly the entire state was red. Today, it is just Putnam, but the governor does expect they, too, will get into a better position very soon. Live here at the Digital Desk, Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.